The next question is, on, is posted by Uday. It's a question on simple interest. See, for such questions, you know, if they actually give the options, it would be far more easier for us to uh, arrive at the answer. What is given here? Two equal sums are lent at the same time to two different borrowers at 10 percentage and 5 percentage simple interest respectively. So, I am giving S rupees to the first borrower and S rupees to the second person, right? S rupees is what I give and for the first person, uh, it is lent at 10 percentage simple interest and for the second person, it is lent at 5 percentage simple interest. The former is received three years earlier than the latter okay so the former is received three years earlier than the latter means if i say that the second person is returning the amount in x years the first person is returning the amount in x minus three years right uh, the former is received uh, three years earlier than the latter and the amount received in the case of the latter is seven thousand Okay, so what is happening in the second case, right? What is the total amount that is received? 7,000 rupees is received. So what is the total amount uh, that is S rupees uh, for five at 5 percentage per annum simple interest for X years? So what will be the amount that the borrower has to return? He has to return the principal plus the interest, correct? The principal plus the interest incurred in the principal. That's what the second person has to return or I can say S plus s into x into 5 by 100 right this amount is nothing but 7000 correct okay this is 7000 uh, because it is given from the uh, from the later latter person he is getting 7000 rupees as the total amount so the principal plus the interest that is 7000 if the amount returned by the second borrower is 500 less than the amount obtained from the first borrower. So what is the amount obtained from the first borrower? It is nothing but 500 more than 7000 or the amount obtained from the first borrower is 7500. Or again, how can you equate that? You can say S into X minus 3, correct? X minus 3 into 10 by 100 plus S. This is equal to 7000. 500. So, these are the two equations that you have. Solve this, that's all. Right? Uh, so, what do you have here? You have, um, this will get cancelled. So, you have Sx minus 3s uh, plus 10s that is equal to 75,000. Correct? Or I can say uh, Sx plus 7s is equal to 75,000. Here what will you have? This is 20, correct? So you will have 20s plus s into x that is equal to um, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or uh, now if you equate these two or I can say this s into x that is equal to 14, 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 20s. Yes, put that here. Put this in this equation. What will you get? 14, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, you will have uh, 13s that is equal to uh, 475. 65,000. Correct? Or s is equal to 5,000. So, what is the amount? The amount is 5000 and then um, so this is the amount s rupees is 5000 and then then you put uh, you know already what is s find out what is x that's all so if you put it here right you have uh, 5000 x is equal to 5000 x is equal to uh, this minus 20 into 5000 so i will i think you will get um, when you solve what will you get x is equal to 8 is that what you are getting? I think you will get x is equal to 8. You will get 8. I think that is correct. See here 14,000 minus here uh, you will get 1000. 10 followed by so many zeros, 4 zeros. So this will be 40,000 here. Here you will have 5,000. You divide that you will get 8 only. Got the answer? 
So what are they asking? Find the sum lent to each borrower. So each borrower is getting 5000 rupees and time taken by the second borrower is 8 years. He will return in 8 years. So the first borrower will return in 5 years. Okay. Yeah. So I hope it is clear. See, it's not a very difficult question if you have to just write down the information correctly and solve it correctly. So, two equal sums are given to two people. So, I, we have assumed S rupees is given to two people. For the first person, 10 percentage simple interest is charged and for the second person, 5 percentage simple interest is charged. The first person is returning the money in X minus 3 years and the second person is returning the money in X years. And it is given that the second person is giving back an amount of 7000 rupees. So, what is the total amount that the second person is returning back? He will return his principal plus the interest in the principal which is 7000. So similarly, what will be the first person returning his principal plus the interest in the principal. But it is also given that this first person is giving 500 rupees more than the second person. So that is 7500. You equate that, you will get that x is equal to 8 years. Okay.